Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Okay, y'all. All right, so I'm back. Um, we went downstairs to the pool area real quick. Um, just for about, what, 30, 45 minutes. You know, just to say we, looked, we did a little something, something. But um, anyway, I am getting ready to unpack and uh, show you guys what I got. First of all, I'm having a BBL. I'm in Chicago. The place that I'm going to is Mia Aesthetics. My doctor is Dr. Bronstein. He is fairly new to the whole uh, Mia Aesthetics, I don't know, company, facility, however you want to say it. He's new. Um, I will give you guys the rundown of why I chose him, how much it was, all that other stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a million videos like this. This is just my experience um, that I want to bring you guys along to see. So, uh, but first we're going to unpack and then I will go into the details of, well, a little bit of the details because I don't know if I want to do another vlog or not to kind of just go over all that stuff. I might just do like a little mukbang or something and just tell y'all all that other stuff i think that's what i'm gonna do so anyway we're just gonna leave this as you know you guys just coming along for the journey and seeing you know what's up so um first things first we're gonna unpack and i'll show you guys what i got so i'm gonna take all this stuff off and a spray <laughs> i don't know i just i like the look i kind of already looked but i'm gonna look again I don't be playing with no big bugs, y'all. I just, I can't. I can't do it. I can't. I don't want to, I don't want nothing coming home with me. So, you know, I just kind of spray it with alcohol. Just in case. You know. Hey, right, so I'm going to put this stuff back on here. This is going to be braised bed. Um... Child, don't play with me. Why the heck did I think that was a big bug? It's just a piece of lint. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm about to have a heart attack already. Okay, so that's done for one bed, that is. But um, back to what I was doing, and that's showing y'all what I got. So this is a bag just that I just threw some stuff in. Um just extra stuff that I found along the way that I want to bring. This is my Beats headphones, just in case I want to listen to some music. Um, I got my Nintendo Switch, you know, to keep me busy when I'm not in pain. Um, I do have some alcohol, I'm sorry, bleach wipes that I had got from my job. Um, it's just some deodorant, some hand sanitizer. I got my toothbrush in here. Um, my comb i got some gloves in here and just like i said just a little knickknack stuff some body sprays um i did bring my air pump thing for the bed that i'm gonna put in the back of the car for me to lay on after the surgery um i have a robe purple big comfy robe that i had got from Amazon for about $23. And I also went to Gabe's to get some gowns. This gown was about, it was a two pack. I have on one now, it's blue. Um, these were about $7.99 for a two pack. These gowns here are gowns that I already had I had got them the last time I told you guys I was supposed to get a BBL about a year or so ago and it never happened. I ended up saving those gowns that I had got from Goodwill. I washed them up really good and I just said, shoot, don't use them now. So that's that. Um, I also brought some old dresses. This is a long dress. It's like a maxi dress. Um, some long dresses for me to put on. 
because I'm probably going to be changing quite often seeing that it is going to get quite messy this is another this is like a t-shirt dress I'm not opening this stuff up y'all because it's I mean it's really nothing fancy it's just something for me to throw on after surgery because it's going to get all bloody and messed up anyway um, I did get this is another gown that I had got from Gabe this gown was I don't even know how much this was. Hold on, y'all. This was $6.99. So I got that one. I got this one. It's like an Air Apostle. This was, I think, $5 or $6.99 as well. I don't even know where I left off because my phone, my I stopped recording for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, just in case, this is the last gown I think I showed you guys for $6.99 from Gabe's. I got some compression socks. These were these were $3.99. I got a scarf from the beauty supply store. And I got some uh, spaghetti string tops from Gabe's. This is a two-pack for $7.99 and another maxi dress that I pretty much already had let's see what else we got what else we got oh here's another pack of compression socks this is two pairs in a pack for $6.99 I got black because like I said after surgery I'm gonna be in these and it's gonna be blood everywhere so I just probably will end up saving the pink ones for like when I don't stop bleeding so much okay so now I'm about to move on to um y'all like my bag first of all ain't this so cute oh my god I'm missing a tea Ravel where the fuck is my tea at I'm gonna have to look for my tea cause no anyway this is the stony clover uh line that they had in Target um, it was like a special edition. It was only around for a little while, but it's a stony cover bag. I got that pink one. It's supposed to stay travel child. My damn tea done broke off, came off. And then I also got this one. It's got stuff on it. So now we're going to move on to the supplies that I had ordered. Uh, most of this stuff came from Amazon. This is a Faha that I had got in a extra large um, no I don't know if this is the right size I just went with it I guess I don't know um, but Mia is gonna put me in one of theirs of course I gotta pay for it I don't know how much that package is they do have a package there that you can buy um, I don't know I think it's like 150 to 200 dollars and I think you get a Faha, you get your phones, you get a BBL pillow to sit on, I think you get a urinal. But like I said, I just, I got this and this will be, hopefully I can wear this. Um, we got some Arnica pills, bruising, swelling, stiffness, pain, muscle soreness. I will be taking these. I got a urinal. From Amazon this was I think like $11.99 or something like that um, I did order some more foams I think it's five foams in this pack um, these were oh god I want to say they were like 15 16 dollars I could be off but yeah uh, because the ones that me are going to put me in is they're going to be all bloody and stuff so I'm gonna have to change those um, I did get some Arnica tea um, they work similar to the Arnica pills, you know, dealing with the bruising, the swelling, uh, stiffness, pain, all that stuff. So that's that. I have a um, compression board, the abdominal one. No, yeah, abdom abdominal <laughs> compression board. So that's that. And this was hard. I know some of them come soft, but this one's pretty hard. And I have my backboard. Um, tomorrow you guys will see me or maybe um, sometime this week, sometime during this vlog, you guys will see me actually putting this stuff on. 
um, when I'm changing garments and stuff like that. Um, I do have two shower liners. One is for the car, one is for the bed. I do plan on making the bed up tonight um, because my surgery is 7 a.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the bed up tonight. But this will be for, you know, any blood or anything when I'm leaking. This is some Lysol. I plan on disinfecting everything after I finish uh, talking to you guys. I'm gonna disinfect and wipe. Get it nice and sanitized up in here. This is some Lysol fabric that I could spray on the bedding before I actually lay on it when I get out of uh, surgery. Well, my husband will anyway. Um, this is some like, lymphatic support drop. Um, it's an herbal tonic. It's an herb or a botanical complex that supports overall health and maintenance of the body of the bodily system and many it may promote a sense of well-being so this will just help with the lymphatic draining and making sure you know um yeah all that stuff but anyway that's that so now i'm gonna move on to my suitcase i had got this from gabe's um this was 10.99 it was on sale so that, and then I also have, oh goodness, I got some gauze, band-aid gauzes. I have two boxes of the itch stopping cream because I have heard the itch after surgery is something serious, y'all. I, oh my God, they say it's crazy. So I got some Arnica gel for like the bruising and all that stuff. I also got some pads. I don't know if I'm gonna need these or not. I don't know, I just got them. Um, I got a blanket. I've had this for a while. It's just for whatever draining or anything that I can lay on. So I won't mess nothing up. I also bought a thing of sheets. This is a queen size. So, and I got these from Walmart. No, I got these from Gabe's. These were $14, it's dark blue I was looking for black but they didn't have it I have some alcohol I brought some of my you know usual stuff I got my um, hair skin and nail vitamins and I got some prescription stuff like for my blood pressure and stuff that's what those pills were but um, I got my K2 my K2 vitamin I got some Tylenol PMs I got some Dermaplast for the pain the itching the burning and I got some Colace just in case you know I'm blocked up and I need to go to the bathroom because they say that will happen after surgery I got some Hybacleans because this is what this is what I'm gonna need to clean with in the morning before surgery they told me to wash with this or dial antibacterial soap. Um, no perfume, no jewelry, no you know body sprays, lotions, stuff like that. Um, I bought some Clorox wipes, which is what I'm going to use to sanitize everything. I got my blood pressure monitor. I got some wet ones to clean our hands to make sure we're you know being clean. And I also got some bio oil. They say this is good for like scarring and stuff like that. Um, this was really expensive. I got this from Walmart. This was like $27. But they say it's really, really good. I got Paul's because of after surgery, they say your throat is really dry. It's really sore from um, the tube that goes down your throat. So I got some of these. Um, I got some Tylenol muscle aches and pain I also got some peroxide spray I don't know what I would need this for I guess I don't know child I don't know I just bought it because I seen everybody else buy it. <laughs> and I also have my vitamin C pills and over here I have some adult cleansing wipes because a day I think the next day or something like that 
I'm not going to be able to uh, take a shower or anything. So, and I know it's going to be all nasty and yucky. So, I bought these to kind of wipe off with. I got the um, adult diaper thingies because of the draining and stuff like that. Um, I also seen some of the girls put pads over some of their incisions or, you know, to catch some of the blood. They put some of these on and then they'll put these over it. So I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, we'll all find out tomorrow, honey. <laughs> um, these are just uh, gloves. I put them in here to kind of sort of keep them from being, you know, all keep them being sanitized and stuff like that. I got these from work. Ain't no sense in buying <laughs> buying a whole box of gloves and I work in healthcare so I just brought some home. Um, I got a boppy pillow to sit on just in case. I know I probably won't be sitting for a while but I just brought it because child you never know. I don't know shit. And then I got this. I've had this since my last surgery I was planning for. This is an ab board. Um, it's the same thing as these two right here. It's just that the, this one comes with like a band. You could just wrap it all the way around and just kind of snaps in place. So I got this. I brought it because I don't know how to we'll make it work some kind of way. But anyway, child, I'm finna wipe this place down. Anyway, I had to wash my hair because like I said, I had just came from the pool. I think I'm gonna twist it or something. I don't know yet. Say hey, baby. That's my caretaker, my lovely husband. So, babe, you ready for tomorrow? Yes. You are? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm really scared about being put to sleep. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I'm terrified. Oh, I meant to show y'all these. I got these puppy, these puppy pads for the bed. I'm gonna put that down. Y'all get ready to see everything. Um, Oh, I also got this avocado thing. You blow it up and you sit in it. It's kind of like a BBL chair kind of thing. I don't know. Um, a lot of the stuff just came from me watching other people's vlogs. And I just kind of really, I've been binge watching other people's vlogs and trying to figure out what I'm going to need. Some of the stuff I may use, some of the stuff I may not use. I don't know. I also had to go by the store and get some of these because people were saying that you need to have this on and then put like your phones and boards and stuff on top of it because a girl was saying that she was putting her phones and boards on top of her skin and she ended up getting an infection so they were telling her to get some of these tank tops to put on first and then the boards and the, the foams and all that other stuff. I also got my air mattress that I'm going to use for when babe picks me up tomorrow from surgery. Um, that's what I'm going to lay on and that's what I will be on when I go back home. We did stop by Kroger's because we are going to need some food. Our uh, hotel came with a little mini stove. We got some sushi. Um, we forgot the water, the case of water, but tomorrow he's going to handle that while I'm in surgery just in case I'm there for a few hours. That'll give him something to do. So we're going to get all that stuff. Um, the hotel here serves breakfast, so why not eat here? I don't know. Save some money. We got some rice. We have some avocados. We got some seasoning salt. We got some, um... Uh, olive oil vegetable broth because when I get out of surgery um, I'm gonna have to put something in my stomach and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stomach anything heavy so we got some vegetable broth okay so in the fridge oops like I said we got to go get some more stuff but I got some spinach uh, I got some pineapple chunks because they say you need pineapples for bruising and all that other stuff. I got some pineapple juice here. I'm going to probably need to go get some more. And I also got a case of protein drinks. So that's 
all I got for now, y'all. I meant to show, I meant to give y'all a little house tour. I mean, a room tour. So that's the front door, the fridge, microwave. You got your stove over there, the sink, counter, all that. Then we have the table, TV, little chair over there in the corner. We did have a room with a king size bed, but I don't know what happened to that. She said they had to put us in a, a, a queen devil bed. That's one bed. That's the other. A mirror, because I am going to be showing you guys what I look like. So, all this hopefully will be gone. I have lost some weight. I was 217 back in February when I first started this. And today I am 194, so I've lost some weight. Anyway, we got a closet here. This is the bathroom, excuse it, stuff is kind of, towels and stuff is thrown everywhere because we just got out of the shower. It's a shower, all that good stuff. And Right here, it's probably where I'll just set up everything or either on the table. I don't know, I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. Six hours later. Good morning. It is June 13th and I am about to get ready for my surgery. It is 4.34 in the morning. It's going to be about 50 minutes to get there. Like I said, I'm supposed to be there at like 7, but I'm going to go a little earlier um, because of traffic or whatever. And I woke up this early really so because I got some things I need to handle before we head out. I twisted my hair last night, so I won't be walking in there looking crazy. I should have threw some braids in, but it is what it is. I probably had this scarf on the majority of this trip. So, um, let me go ahead and get myself together, brush my teeth, take another shower, and I will catch you guys either on the way or when I get there. Just thought I'd show you guys a before. Got my little compression socks on. Side view. 
I know you can't see too much with the robe on, but I kind of showed you guys yesterday when I had my gown on what the before was like. So I'm gonna get ready to head out. While Patchy pulls himself together, let's see how SpongeBob's party is shaping up. Okay guys, I guess I'm recording, I'm not sure, but I have to go and get her now. She is in recovery. I got water, I got Tylenol, I got hell, everything I can imagine right now. Just gotta make sure I got the keys. So, gotta get used to this vlogging thing. I know she says she wanted me to. Um, let me see, got the keys, got my key. Yep, so I am off, got my phone. It's about to be crazy ride, y'all, so come with me. All right, so, Cut that music off so we don't get the uh, old copyright infringement deal. Listening to some tank, that's my dude. Anyway, I am on the highway. I'm about to head to Mia, Maya, however you wanna say it. That was very fast procedure. Um, I literally played a little bit of Xbox. Thank God that started working. I was gonna finish watching this uh, Adam Sandler movie, Hustler, or Hustle. It tells me I am 29 minutes away. Of course, we're taking the toll route with her up. I am totally nervous, scared. I got water. I got Pedia lights. I got, I mean, literally Tylenol. I got everything like she would need. This is just day one. So I got a big thing of water down here. I don't know if y'all can see that. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm crazy right now. Just trying to get get to her as quickly as possible. Well, I'm like super nervous. I know she's gonna be hurt. I got her some water, some Pedialyte, some Tylenols and stuff. She said she wanted some cold Pedialytes. It went oh, by so fast, I thought it was gonna take longer. She told me it only lasted for like an hour, which I thought it was way longer than that. Nah, they just get in there and suck out your fat and then shove it in your ass. It's a fast process. I'm just waiting for them. They're gonna call me back in a little bit and then tell me that they're about to bring her out and I'm gonna get ready. Oh, I'm nervous. I know, right? Jesus. Um, nah, this is the hard part. This first week of recovering and getting her to her little lymphatic massages and all of that. That's the hard part. It'll be easy when we get back home because she'll at least be able to walk on her own and stuff. And she's gonna be still kind of groggy and delirious from being under anesthesia. I'm just happy she came through it okay and nothing happened. Here she comes, y'all. She looks so tired. fuck up. Uh oh. Hello. Drink as soon as she gets home. Oh, we actually okay. recommend eating. Oh, cool. I'm gonna go over some discharge yeah. instructions. Okay. Her bag. Yeah, no problem. So 
so like I said, she can eat as soon as she gets home. Um, something high in protein and low in sodium will be perfect. So I always recommend to patients like a Chipotle bowl or like chicken and rice or something like that would be good. What about protein drinks? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes, um, she should drink tons of fluids today, like a bottle of water every hour. Yeah, I got her quick thing of water now. Perfect. She can start drinking that right away. Okay, cool. Um, the faha and all the dressing that she has on stay at, stays on all day and night. They'll change her tomorrow at her post-op appointment. She should have received an email for that. Okay. Um, but that stays on. They'll change her tomorrow. So no showering today. Gotcha. Um, the socks she has on, they're little compression socks. They stay on for 10 days to help prevent blood clots. Mm -hmm. Uh, she should also be getting up and walking about every hour for five to ten minutes. Okay. It's better to be moving after surgery. Just make sure you're with her the first couple Oh, times. absolutely. Mm -hmm. going <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm here. I'm her caretaker. Awesome. Basically. Good. Okay. Any questions you have for me? Um, no. Oh, um, she can take Tylenol too, like yep. immediately? Or? Yeah, we didn't give her any pain meds okay. or any Zofran or anything in recovery, so she can take the Zofran um, and Tylenol. Um, she's going to be getting antibiotics, so start tomorrow. Okay, okay. we just got to pick that up. Perfect. All right, um, cool. You said her post out tomorrow. She got an email on it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then no sitting on the butt for her for six more weeks. Gotcha. Okay, so she's going to be laying on her stomach or standing. Um, in three weeks, she can use a BBL pillow, which is a little pillow with like a lips. Gotcha. Like a sign right there. Okay. Are you fine? Okay. All right, thanks. Look at my baby. Yo, butt. It hurts so bad. It's so big. Jesus, you got a biscuit. So, the only thing, it went so fast. Yeah. Um, I went back there, they took my blood pressure, my hearing. Mm -hmm. Um, all that good stuff, everything came back perfectly. Next thing I know, I was following the doctor into the back and he told me to take three deep breaths and they put something in my IV. Whatever they put gone. in my IV, I was gone. Um, next thing I knew, I woke up uh, being monitored for my blood pressure and uh, here I am. <laughs> Uh, everything happened so fast. Yeah, she called me. Everything hurt. It hurts. Yeah, I mean, it hurt. So, like, everything so, on the videos that you saw is the truth. Yeah, it hurt. I ain't even, I mean, it's not enough to cry, but I'm not going to lie. I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, you know what I'm impressed at? Mm -hmm. The fact that you moved without doing a whole lot of uh, yeah, uh, 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 moaning and stuff. That's like, what they said. They said um, I did really good um, as far as, like, you know, just getting up and going from the bed to the chair. Uh -huh. She was like, yeah, you you know, you're doing good. Because, I mean, a lot of people just, yeah, I've seen a they girl. can't take it. Um, my stomach hurt. My butt hurts. Like, I would say from 1 to 10, it's like uh, 15. Are you serious? Yeah, oh, my God. Hurts. Hopefully, them Tylenols kick in. You can take them every four hours. Um, she said she know you're gonna rest. You can't remove your compression socks for 10 days I'm gonna change them up, but yeah for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. you just need to keep them uh, Some type of compression on for circulation. She said something about that uh, blood clots or something like that uh, um, But um, Dr. Bronstein said that I can't have any um, pineapple juice because it's just too high in sugar so um that's fine babe got me some um i don't think you can see it some pedialyte um that right there is my arnica tea um to help with some of the pain and stuff and then he's gonna make some vegetable broth they told me that i can just have tylenol for today and then tomorrow um i can take like ibuprofen or something like that uh, for the pain uh to drink plenty of water which i do that anyway i think i bit my lip at some point in time i don't know when but it's mm. it's something right there i bit my uh, it's like a little bump or something right yeah, there i don't know uh 
Yeah, but I took some Tylenols in the car. Later on, I'll take some Tylenol PMs and um, just rest. They recommend that I get up and walk every, what? 10 minutes an hour, every hour. <laughs> they recommend I work, <clears throat> I walk for 10 minutes every hour. But considering you walked all the way up here, you got to like 2.30 right before you need to walk. Okay, so 2.30. So I'll get up and walk. This is my second walk. I got up the first time, but I just didn't pick up the camera for it. And I'm probably not gonna do it every time I walk. I'm just <clears throat> showing y'all real quick. Um, babe got up while well, I got him up. <laughs> He's gonna make um, these packs of salmon. Um, we got some rice boiling right here. Then I'm gonna have some spinach with my. I feel okay. Um, I took a Tylenol PM at like three o'clock, so I feel okay. Um, my voice is kind of scratchy. It doesn't hurt. It's just like mucus or something right there, just just sitting there. I don't know where that came from. I guess I don't know. It might have came from like the tube being put in my throat. <coughs> Cause I ain't had that problem before I went in, but um, I feel okay. Only pain I'm having right now is like in my butt area. <clears throat> That's been going on for the past two hours. I haven't really been able to sleep. I've been kind of up and down, up and down for some reason. I don't know. I just can't keep still. I don't know if that's because of the pain or just me just not being able to just sleep on my stomach that long or lay on my stomach that long. I got to move around and do something. Got a few pieces of pineapple. I look a mess, y'all. But that's really it. That's really all I got. Tomorrow, I have my pre-op appointment at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. And then at 4 to 5 o'clock, I have my uh, massages. Be very careful. Yep, all the way up. All the way, all the way, all the way. Okay. Thank you, baby. Okay, you can get that off the floor. <clears throat> Put that back on. I do? Oh, yeah, my charger. So, I pissed all over the place. <clears throat> but it's okay. Definitely a wagon <laughs> back there. <laughs> okay. I got a booty. Yeah. The next day. All right. So good morning. I am on my way to my post op appointment. <clears throat> it's. 5.39, I have to be there at 6.30. Last night went okay. I actually wasn't hurting at all last night. I don't know what that was about, but the water, the walking, that really, really helped me. My pain didn't come back until this morning. Like everything, well my butt hurts and my back, but my stomach is it's okay. I took some Arnicare tea and a Tylenol PM just to kind of sort of hopefully get some type of rest. Um, I did see my booty in the mirror and I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like in a better angle. 
um but it's big <laughs> from the looks of it he gave me what i wanted but i know a lot of this is just you know swelling and stuff like that so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to record while i'm in there with him as he's looking at me but i will definitely let y'all know what's up all right so we just got back from my first post-op appointment and i'm gonna just tell you guys this is post-op day one y'all i had to take my faja off at the uh clinic they wouldn't put it back on and that was the only one i bought so buy two fajas y'all because she gonna need it they would not put that one back on because it's not sanitary. So Bae's gonna run it downstairs, uh, wash it, dry it, bring it back up, I'm gonna put it on. And this is what I look like right now. Let me just tell you guys, yesterday when they weighed me, I was 191. When I first started this journey, I was 217 pounds. So I lost a lot of weight. So yeah, you're gonna see some saggy skin. I did not get a tummy tuck. I may go back for a tummy tuck. I do not know yet. But this is what I look like. The front. And I'll give you guys a side view. <sighs> Kinda winded and out of breath. Um, she told me that most of this definitely got my butt though, good God. Most of this is um most of this is fluid. Like I have a big pack of fluid right here. Um all this she told me when I compress to take the foams and lift up and then you know push it, it'll you know push it back to kind of get this skin skin right because although it's saggy and I still may need a um, a tummy tuck it will go down but um he did kind of shape me a little bit he got a lot of this and this side Ooh, I have one incision in my back with stitches in it the one at the very top um, but she said it may or may not start itching, you know, just don't scratch it or anything. But, um, the reason why I'm not leaking that much, cause I'm gonna show y'all my pads that were on the bed. I only had maybe a couple drops of blood on it. That's it. They, um, put some chucks inside of my my faja some gauze pads and chucks and so that kept me from leaking a lot but she said I'm gonna leak for about a week so that's that and so like like I said this is a before shot before the massages I get today then I'll come back and show you guys what I look like after the massages probably won't be much of a difference but that's cool Bray went downstairs to get me uh, some breakfast. It is complimentary with the hotel, so like I said, why not save some money and eat here? Long as it's something I like now. I ain't just gonna be eating anything, but four boiled eggs, two sausage and egg biscuits. So I'm about to eat this. And uh, <clears throat> my throat's still kinda sore. I will check back with y'all when I get ready to get my massages. It's called the cold roller treatment. Mm -hmm. So we're just doing a cold roller to help decrease some of this inflammation. She's so red mm -hmm. and in uncomfortable. The cold will help decrease the inflammation and that's gonna decrease the pain and discomfort there. And I'm not applying any pressure. It's just lightly going over it. You said that helps with pain too? Mm -hmm. You know, like if you have a strain or a strain, you ice it. Mm -hmm. That helps with pain and decreasing inflammation. Mm -hmm. 
can say right now you're kind of moving fluid. Does that make it easier to drain? Um, so the axillary lymph nodes have not been affected by the surgery. When oh. the surgery goes in, uh -huh. they go in down here and they damage these lymph nodes. So if you notice a lot of people you see doing post-op, mm -hmm. they do like this. Yeah, I see. But that's only pulling more down to this area. Gravity is already pulling down, right? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, also, that's where your damaged lymph nodes are. So how can we flush? To those left notes. Huh. I was making sure it was what day it was. Um, hey y'all, it's Wednesday. Uh it's post op day two. It is a little after six o'clock. I'm just picking up the camera because I didn't really have anything to vlog. Um, we just really been resting and I don't want to bore y'all to death. So I'm trying to just get the good stuff. Um, it's been really hard getting in and out of the bed. Um, I've been having to have babe kind of just lift my legs up as I kind of slide out the edge of the bed. Um, walking is getting a tiny bit better. I'm not 100% yet, and I know it's gonna take a while. It's a process. Still no draining, no leaking, no nothing. I haven't had to use any of my pads, really. So, even my clothes, it's not <clears throat> dirty. So, I'm just sipping on some Pedialyte right now, some strawberry, and this is what I look like right now. I'm really swollen. Let's see. From the side. He definitely gave me a booty. Definitely gave me a booty. <laughs> Just to give y'all a peek. I go again for my second massage tomorrow. Um, I'm probably not going to record that because she... Y'all have already seen it. Um, she's probably just doing the same thing that she did yesterday. Um, right now, babe's shaving. We're gonna go get a bite to eat, get out of the room for a little bit. We've been in here all day. Ooh, and I had my first bowel movement. I know, TMI. But I did go. Um, I did not have one of those bars. Not a bar, but it's like, it's like a BBL pillow, but it's like a like a little hump that you sit on on your thighs and you just rest on it and kind of you know go to the bathroom like that babe I didn't have one of those so babe went on YouTube or Google or somewhere and figured he'd roll up a towel to so I could be able to use the bathroom and it worked just fine so I did BM today still using my urinal um, it was everywhere the first day, but I kind of got the hang of it now. I kind of leaned forward when I used the bathroom. That's really about it. I'm still taking my iron supplements, the Floridix and the um, Hemaplex. Um, I did not go and get my prescriptions and I'm probably not. One prescription is uh, for nausea and I'm not nauseated, so it's no point in that. And the other one is for infection. Now, I might, might go get that one. I know y'all probably like, why is she not going to go? Well, uh, when I was being looked at yesterday, you know, she didn't really find anything wrong. So, um, I'm just not going to waste any, you know, unnecessary, you know, waste any money you want to go get any prescription fill that I really don't need right now. So, um... My pain has been um, about a six, seven-ish, somewhere, kind of tolerable. I'm still taking my Tylenols, uh, PMs, and uh, muscle ache, extra strength. I got two, two different kinds. Good morning. This is Friday. 
post-op day four. I did not vlog that much yesterday. I did, um, I think I told you guys I was going to my massage. I went to that and it was excruciatingly painful. Like I couldn't, I took it because I need, I that's what I need, I have to have it. But I mentally couldn't take it. Like it, it was just too much. Um, it was like two or three times I had to tell her to stop because it was so aggressive. Like, and I and I know she needed to be aggressive to get all the fluid out because, like I said, I'm not draining. So she had to literally take the fluid and move it to my lymph nodes. That's what they're called, right? Yeah. So your lymph nodes is what your body uses to remove all the toxins. Like when you use the bathroom, you pee and stuff. So instead of draining through my incisions, I'm draining through my urine. So that was very, very painful, but she got most, I mean, she worked my back like crazy. <laughs> she got my back really, really good. Um, she ended up using the tape method on my stomach because um, I have a lot of excess excess of skin left over after lipo, which I knew that was gonna happen. I know I need a tummy tuck, it's nothing new. So, <clears throat> so I do plan on getting a tummy tuck. Um, I don't think I can go back for another surgery for six, for six months from now. So it'll put me right around December, January, which is perfect. And I just, I wanna look my best I've had all my kids. It's time for me to enjoy my life. So I'm not having no more babies. And I wanna look good. I wanna look good in my clothes. That's really was the, that was the whole point of this whole surgery, not to get off topic. I know we, I know we were talking about massages, but, um, you know, for the people that make, you know, vlogs and, you know, they have people commenting up under their comment section negatively i wouldn't feel no kind of way about it i mean y'all can say what y'all want i'm gonna do what i want at the end of the day it never really mattered to me what people thought only what i thought um you know people try to scare you with you know oh well this could happen yeah and i could go out here and get hit by a car you know i mean i hate to put it that way but it's like i tr i wanted to go into this in a positive out you know in a positive light some of those people will who have had something happen to them on the table um or didn't make it out of surgery um you know it just could have been just just something gone wrong and you know it doesn't necessarily have to be the surgeon's fault you know uh some of the girls i've heard were withholding information health information and you know that stuff matters they have to know everything that's why they question you at the beginning you know you can't leave stuff out, you know, so everything matters. Hey, so I just wanted to give you guys, this is still the same day, a quick view of what I look like in the front. The lady who did my massage, she did me a wrap to kind of lift my stomach since I didn't get a tummy tuck. But, still really kind of red, not too much, but. So I made it home. Okay. Let me show y'all the Faha that I'm in now. It's an extra large. The one that Mia had put me in was a uh, 4XL. So this is what it looks like. It actually slimmed me up a little bit. I'm still swollen. See that boot eye? Mm-hmm. So, and, and I have it on the first little notches right here, as you can see, kind of busting out the seams, but it's okay, it's okay. So, um, Dr. B, and I'm gonna go over the doctor and all the other stuff, how much it was and all that other stuff, y'all, I promise. Um, but yeah, I like, I like, I like, I like. Thanks to Shapers. Say hi, mama. Say hi. Say hi, YouTube. Us uh, too. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to go and 
spend some time with the kitties, try to do something to my hair and basically just relax. Um, my job is already calling me, asking me when I'm coming back to work. I still got a whole nother week off. I'm not even thinking about work right now. I told them I will let them know. But yeah, so I'm going to end the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my BBL, start of my BBL journey. Um, I'll be sure to update you guys on my progress, how much weight I'm losing. Um, I got my inches. She took my like my my inches around like around my waist and my hips and stuff. I can't really remember what it was. I know my hips is like a 43, and I want to say my waist is a 39. So yeah, I have to um, check and see what and everything. But I appreciate everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe, and um, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Bye.